Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Isn't this just absolutely the most beautiful day on May 1st that you've ever seen? It seems like this year, May 1st means so much more to me than the past May 1st. So I am just loving this day. I've already been for a walk out this morning and it just feels wonderful. It just feels wonderful. I'm excited about the day. I want to tell you Philip's story. Uh, most of you know that my husband had a, a very severe truck accident on January the 4th of last year. He, um, uh, he went, he was, he was driving a big box truck for a company and, um, and he wrecked and destroyed the lower part of his right leg. It's the tibia plateau. Some of you medical people will know what that is. It's the part that uh, comes up under the kneecap. In fact, the orthopedic surgeon said to him that uh, what he did was like taking a boiled egg and smashing it on the floor. That's how bad it was. He said when he got in there to put it all back together again that um, it was like putting a puzzle together. It was shattered. He had to put, literally put the pieces back together again, and then he put a plate over the pieces and then put nine pins to hold the plate in place. Now, you would think that that would just be completely destructive, but Philip, I want to share with you today that Philip is doing great. Um, he doesn't even walk with the lamp, and... Uh, we attribute that, first of all, to God, because we've prayed every step of the way. God has been with him. God has, has put his healing touch on Philip's body, and we know that God is, has healed him all along the way. But we also know that we had one of the best orthopedic surgeons in the whole Southeast to put his leg back together. And had that not been the case, things could be very different today. So we're thankful. We're thankful. But the story about him that I want to share with you is um, he had the, uh, he, he, his accident was on the 4th. He couldn't get in to have the surgery until the 11th of January of last year. Um, he got in to have the surgery on the 11th and um, was there only a day or two. They sent him home with the um, strongest Percocet on the market. And um, he came home. He took two pills of that medication. And, um, and he said, he said, Rita, I can't do this. He started, um, he started mildly hallucinating. He couldn't sleep. His body was completely out of whack he said I can't do this because see we we gave up pharmaceuticals many years ago now we take a lot of supplements um, but we gave up pharmaceuticals a long time ago now we're all in favor of trauma medication if I had an accident and I had to go to the doctor I'm thankful for those doctors and for that medication but as far as a regular daily basis we gave up pharmaceuticals long ago and um, so he took no drugs and then they sent him home with this extremely strong medication and it sent him for a loop he said I can't do it well at that time I had uh, I had been taking pure CBD oil for um, only about four months and I knew what it had done for me when I started taking pure CBD oil. And I say pure every time because there's, you know, you know, you can drive around every corner now and every gas station says CBD sold here. And uh, it's, uh, it's probably adulterated. Uh, and I say that because I've checked some of it out. And what I have checked out has been adulterated, um, even in a very large health food store. You know, if you don't get the pure thing, it won't do you any good. It won't do what it's supposed to do for your body if it's not pure. So, uh, thank God, I, the Lord allowed me to find a pure company in the very beginning, 
and uh, I had started taking it for myself because I have a strong family history of rheumatoid arthritis and it had already started nipping at my heels several years before and when my friend told me about this product um, I started taking it and the second day after I started taking it all my pain was gone I had no pain anymore and uh, and I had severe pain I would cry myself to sleep many nights because I hurt so bad and the second day after I started taking it was gone so I told Philip I said um, I said if you're game uh, we will switch from this heavy pharmaceutical to um, just CBD oil and we'll just see if that'll work so we gave him he'd already been taking some before the accident just just a minimal amount and uh, and we upped it at that point to the maximum dose because his body had already become accustomed to taking it but we upped it to the maximum dose we started early the next morning and he started taking he was he we we spaced it out so that he could get the full dose 40 drops for the day uh, for that day and by night time he slept like a baby he had he had no pain he had uh, no anxiety over the accident now you can imagine what kind of anxiety would come knowing no not knowing how you were going to be able to walk again you can imagine that every day now Philip is 6 5 at that point he weighed 280 300 he's a big guy so you can imagine what he felt inside what was going on in his psyche what was going on in his heart and in his mind about the future and that CBD was pure and it uh, it absolutely put him to sleep that night and from that day until this day that was January the let's see that was the 13th of January because the surgery was on the 11th from that day until this day is that 15 months he has never had anything for his leg for his pain for his anxiety for his sleep other than pure CBD oil and the supplement he kept taking his supplements his um, he we took a, mul um, a multitude of supplements for other things and so he when he got back from the surgery he kept taking his supplements but for pain that's all he took and the funny thing about it is he never told his orthopedic surgeon you know he went back for many many visits and um, because we didn't know how he would feel about it you know we didn't know he never told any of his therapists he went to dozens of therapy sessions. We never told the therapist, we never told the orthopedic surgeon that all he was taking was CBD oil. And um, finally, at our last visit before the, um, the end of the care, the end of his care, the orthopedic surgeon's care, the last visit, he finally looked at Philip and he said, what are you taking for pain? I don't know if he knew that Philip never got the prescription refilled or um, or we never mentioned it because we never mentioned anything about pain. Philip never said to him uh, he was in pain. He would ask him, well, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Philip was always doing good, and uh, he never mentioned to him about pain. So finally, at the last visit, he said, what are you taking for pain? And Philip said, his name is Dr. Kissel. He's at St. Vincent's uh, Orthopedic in um, Birmingham. He fabulous, fabulous doctor. We thank God every day for him. And um, so he said, Philip, what are you taking for pain? Philip looked at him and said, Dr. Kissel. He said, um, all I've taken is pure CBD oil. And Dr. Kissel looked at him and he said, oh, good. He said, and I'm assuming that you're rubbing, that you're, uh, rubbing it uh, topically on your knee as well as taking it sublingually. And Philip said, absolutely I am. And uh, that thrilled me to know that one of the top orthopedic surgeons in the southeast and at St. Vincent's in Birmingham 
said, oh good, and you're rubbing it on top of your knee as well as taking it sublingually. So that gave us tremendous peace of mind. So I'm here to tell you today, that's Philip's story. We are incredibly thankful. Um, as long as God allows me to, I am CBD for life because uh, it has done, it has changed my life and it's changed Philip's life.